Hello everyone. In this episode, I'd like to show you how you can animate parameters in the Dash Studio keyframe timeline. So I'm talking about things like character morphs, where you want to maybe animate a character from one shape into another, or maybe animate the intensity of a light, or animate a property on the camera, like focal length or depth of field, and all those things. They're, they are animatable, and Dash Studio does create keyframes for it, but they don't show up by default in the timeline. And it's been driving me crazy for years, but I've worked out how to do it fairly recently. And I thought I will share the love around because I know it's driving you crazy. And um, the Dash Studio timeline is actually more capable than we give it credit for. So in my case, I have a Genesis 3 figure here. And perhaps, so I'll show you three examples for a character, for a camera, and for a light just to go through these things multiple times. So I've got this character here, and if I go and dial up a slider, she morphs from one figure into another, from one character into another. But if I go and, so I can I can make that happen. I can I can set a keyframe here at the, at the first frame, and then maybe on the last frame here, say frame 30, I can go ahead and set this slider to 100%. And Dash Studio should set a keyframe for me. If it doesn't do that, we can just add one manually. And I can see that a keyframe has been created. And I can also see that if I move the timeline, my character does in fact interpolate. So it does work as expected. But if I go and open my timeline here with the character selected, I'll just go and give myself a little bit more room here. I can see properties and I can see translation, rotation and scale. And I can literally go into every bone of the hierarchy here and I can see all these things, but I don't see the keyframes for things like the like these um, the, the morphs that I've just dialed in here. And that is because there's a thing down here that says types. And types is essentially a filter that will show or hide certain keyframe types from the timeline. So translation, rotation, and scale are currently set. And if I go and, and open this, I can see that th those are the ones I'm, I'm seeing here, translation, rotation, and scale. I can enable and disable things on this filter as I as I want. So if I want to don't want to deal with scale because I'm not animating the scale, I can just get rid of that. And the timeline will then not show me those types of keyframes. And that's very helpful. If you have a big scene with a lot of objects, you might want to just go and filter things out so that your tired mind gets a bit of a rest here. So technically, I don't really want to deal with translation rotation right now. I want to deal with something else, which is a parameter. And that it used to be called value in previous versions of Das Studio when we had animate, when we had what were they called? Keymate and graphmate. And those things, they, they were called, they, they had a little V. I think value was the type of thing that you could use, but they've renamed it when they've integrated those plugins. And it's now called other. So other is super nice and non-descriptive so that's that's perfect but that is exactly what we need uh, we need to show other keyframes you can show those in addition to translation rotation and scale but as i said we don't really want to deal with those so i can disable them and just leave other there's other things here aliases and hidden properties so those can also be shown thankfully we don't need to do that yet but if you ever wanted to have something that animates that isn't shown by default, try alias and hidden, it might show up then. So then in properties, I can now see pretty much the same thing that I see in the parameters tab. So I can see all these things that I usually have access to under parameters, namely in my case here, general, actor, display, morphs, pose controls, and so forth. And this is where all these sliders can now be animated. And these little round things here, those are the actual keyframes. So in my case, it wasn't a pose control. Mine was a custom character morph thing that was under morphs, or in fact, under morph loader, under a property called this thing here, Verity V2 T pose. And if I go and look at the other end of the timeline, so I can see this little T here. If I look at the other end of the timeline, I can see that there's also a little T here. And that is in fact, the, the actual keyframe. So if I wanted to delete that or if I wanted to move that to a different position that is where I can do that so I can go and left click and drag this somewhere else so perhaps I want the character to already have morphed into position on frame 15 and when I do that somewhere find my playhead here which there it is then the character will be at that position at frame 15 already so that's the actual keyframe that 
we can move. So not the little triangles, they're not the keyframes, but the little round things here. And they also have a little letter in the middle and that tells us the interpolation type. So um, yeah, if you ever wanted to change that, it's going to right click on that and set key interpolation. So from TCV to linear or constant. So it'll have a different letter and the L would be linear. You can just about make it out. Also has a different shape. But yeah, that's, that's really not the scope of this video. I'm going to set that back to TCV. So yes, that is where you can see these things under with the other thing enabled. Same thing happens for things like a light, for example. If I go and create a new point light, say, and I'll go and move it slightly out of the way that we can focus on it. And perhaps I go into my texture shaded view just so that I have a little bit of a value going here. I'll go close my Genesis character down just with the point light selected. I'll set a keyframe now and with it under maybe light, I've got something called intensity and I can crank that up and down. Sadly, we don't see any effects here. Oh, we can just about see an effect from yes, on is 100% to off is 0%. So let's leave it. Let's leave it off to begin with. I'll go and set a keyframe for that and then I'll go and move my playhead forward maybe to frame 10 or maybe also yeah, maybe frame 10 and then I'd like my intensity to be a hundred percent with alt click that'll make that happen add a keyframe here and once again with the point light uh, selected with other showing I now have access to these properties like light and in light there's intensity so that's it that is how I can how I can show these values. Yeah, so if your timeline does not show other, you won't see those. If it shows TRS, you will see a lot of other stuff, but not necessarily the parameters and morph dials that you want to see. Oh yes, I said three examples. I will give you a third example. I will give you a third example, namely with a camera. So I'll go and create myself a new camera and I will apply the perspective view here. Let's look through the camera and with the camera selected, let's say this is our first position. Say I wanted to change the focal length. I'll set a keyframe here and under camera, I'll go and change the focal length from 65, like on frame 15 or maybe on frame 10. I'd like for that to be uh, something much longer. Let's say, let's, let's, let's make it 120 on that frame. That's cool. That that changes my framing. If I go and set a keyframe, I can go and interpolate through my camera. Look at that. That the focal length is being changed and interpolated. And with just TRS showing, I wouldn't be able to see those values here. But as soon as I add other to the mix, I get to see other properties. Namely, in this case, it's the camera property. And on it, we have focal length and that is where my keyframe is and then i can now go and change that to a different position or whatnot and so yeah that is how we do that little hidden gem there the other slider i hope this was helpful and i hope it'll help you animate better in das studio if you like this video then of course please share it with friends family and total strangers thank you so much for your wonderful support through patreon Kofi, twitch and youtube subscriptions i appreciate every single one of you if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and i hopefully will see you in the next video take care bye bye